quick heads up for everybody for a limited time until May 14th, Angelus Direct has 20% off of all accessories on their webpage. There will be a direct link below this video in the description box, a direct link to Angelus Direct, where you can get all accessories right now for 20% off whenever you use code ACCESS20. So stock up on your paintbrushes, tape, knives, any article you need for shoe restoration. You can also get their shoe trees, which are the best shoe trees in the business. If your Yeezys, if your V2s fit tight around the toe box, buy the Angelus shoe trees and they're made very well, very strong, and they will actually stretch out the toe box with the shoe trees in. So when you put the shoe onto your foot, the Yeezys no longer will fit tight around the toe box. I use it on all of my shoes, especially the Yeezys, and it fixed the problem. So check out the direct link below this video in the description box to get yourself some Angelus Direct accessories. Brand new video. I want to start off first with a little bit of sneaker news before I get into my unboxing for this video. But as you see here on the screen, it appears that images of the Ultra Boost 4.0 have officially leaked out. And I'm kind of curious what's everybody's thought on this shoe. It's, you know, pretty much the Ultra Boost 1 through Ultra Boost 4 has pretty much been the same shoe. They just keep changing up the construction the feel of the prime knit on the actual shoe itself and each shoe so far in my opinion has been an improvement over the previous shoe this shoe seems to have a different kind of prime knit pattern here on the side of the shoe which might help maybe hug the side of the sh or the side of your foot maybe a little bit snugger i don't know but you see here it kind of looks like it does kind of touch on which one was this Ultra Boost 2.0, I think, the uh, upper on a 2.0. But yeah, the uh, prominent pattern here is totally different than what we are used to seeing. It's very different. So I'm kind of curious what it's going to feel, feel like. Also appears that they have changed the, uh, the way the Boost logo might actually look on maybe the boxes, on branding, insoles. So we'll see what happens there. But as everybody knows, the Ultra Boost has been one of the models that has completely overhauled the reception to Adidas over the past few years. But they are still currently in the 3.0 production phase of the shoe for the market. But uh, as rumored, the next silhouette, as you see here, the 4.0 should be debuting in December 2017 and possibly this triple white colorway might actually be the first colorway that actually drops this December. But uh with these new vertical lines, stripes as you want to call them, and I guess they have a new kind of uh ventilation on the toe cap of the shoe, but all in all, just minor tweaks to the Ultra Boost silhouette once again. But uh, hey, let me know what your early thoughts are on this 4.0 triple white. What's your, your thoughts? What's your opinions? What do you think about this? Do you think that Adidas should change up completely and just redo the entire silhouette? Should they just keep tweaking the version 4 and version 5, version 6? Should they just keep tweaking the prime every, every single time and just rebranding it as the version 5, the version 4, the version 3. Do you think that that will, that will last for a longevity kind of, kind of a thing for Adidas? I'm just kind of curious. I think eventually they're going to have to redo the entire silhouette. Because once you get to, let's say, the Ultra Boost 8.0, how much more can they really change on the Prime Knit to make it really that different? So I'm kind of curious of how many years can they go without doing a drastic overhaul of the shoe completely. I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. But as of right now, the Ultra Boost is the most comfortable shoe in the world, in my opinion. All right. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money.
Hey, just got in a pair of shoes, got them off the front porch. I'm excited about this. I wanted them. Everybody else has got them. I missed out. But here we go. Let's see. I got these from Kith. Kith did a surprise online restock about uh, a couple weeks ago. And I'm just getting around now to actually open up the box of shoes. But, um... Uh, I followed uh, people on Twitter and I was able to see a retweet that these dropped on Kith. They're limited and I grabbed my pair for retail. Here's the Kith receipt. Yeah, these were $180. Show you what I got. As you can see from the box. This is a pair of NMDs. Let me verify. This is the uh, <coughs> NMD City Talk 2 Prime Knits. I think these are called the uh, Ronin Collection or Ronin, Ronin, R O N I N, however you say it. I don't know. Ronin, Ronin Collection. And these dropped on many websites and I missed. But I got them. First time seeing this shoe in person. I've seen pictures online. I've seen other YouTubers look at these and I'm really impressed with these. I <laughs> these are nice. These are nice. Let me get rid of this box for now. City Suck 2. As you see. Boom, boom, boom. With that ultra flexible prime knit upper it's got this really nice cut on there i really like that. that that side cut just really dresses this thing up nicely the back uh heel tab or pull tab is leather i really like this sole it's not a gum sole it's like a uh, it's like a milky like a cream sole it's different i like it of course, this sole will probably turn to the color of piss as you wear it. But, at least right now, this looks really good in person. I've heard some people say this was kind of like a, um, kind of a gum sole, but it's, it's, it's not a gum sole. It doesn't have the, the darkened, almost kind of like peanut butter, light brown color of the gum sole. This is like a, actually... What this looks like is the color of the bottom of the Yeezy V2 Zebras. It's about the same shade, I think. It's pretty close. So that is how I can define my definition of what the bottom of this shoe looks like. But the upper pattern on this shoe is the first time we've seen Adidas do this kind of a pattern on a shoe. It's different. I like it. Some people have said that uh, this was put here to allow more of a uh, tighter fit on the top of your foot just to kind of hold everything down, hold everything in. Uh, there actually is some sidewall support on this shoe. I was kind of curious about that and most YouTubers haven't really touched on that, but the sidewalls of the shoe do have a little bit of, of support on the sidewalls on the back of the shoe so your foot's in it, it's not going to be moving around a whole lot like if you, uh, what's it called, like pronate or the other way in or out. So that's nice. Of course these do not have an insole because City Socks do not have insoles but uh, with the City Socks you're walking on boost so who gives a crap. But you see the inside of the shoe the inside of the shoe it's actually the inside of it, it appears to touch and feel like leather where the insole would be it feels like it's leather. So that's different. That's a little cool. But I guess this is, I don't really honestly know a whole lot about this shoe, like the background of it. But everybody says it's the City Sock 2, the Ronin. I think I'm saying it right. Ronin. And I don't know anything about Ronin. So flame me, that's fine. I just like the design and the pattern of the shoe. And that cut right there just really makes it pop. Really makes it look like almost like a designer shoe. Because just think about it. Um, let's say... You go up to some pricey store like Von Mar and you find some Balenciagas and uh, 
you know, to see like a Balenciaga, I don't own any, but like, fairly speaking, you saw a Balenciaga with this kind of a cut on, on, the, on the side of the shoe that kind of has just like a designer look to it. Kind of gives it that pop of more work and effort was put into the shoe than just slap on the upper part, slap on the lower, and sell it, you know? There was more that went into this shoe. But as you can see, like, you put your hand in this thing, look at all that, all that flex you got. So, um, with the CS2s, they did away with the outer pod. I've heard some people say they like it, some people don't. I don't give a crap. The inner pod right here, of course, is there. And it's probably about twice the size as the inner pods on the uh, original City Socks. And I think that's really more for, I think, like, stability, maybe. Because if you walk and if you try to, like, turn your, your foot in, that pod right there isn't going to let your foot, like, go that way with the shoe on. So... I don't know if this shoe will be stocking anymore, but I do know that Kith has restocked this shoe a couple times now. It's sold out as of right now, but I did hear if you live in New York City that Kith in New York, wherever it's at, they had these on the shelf just sitting for like a week. They're just, just sitting, which <laughs> every place else within the country, you walk in, you don't find this stuff sitting on shelves. Actually, my city, uh, we didn't even get this shoe. It didn't even come here, any of my stores here. Uh, so, if you got this in your city, that means you've got some boutiques that are high class. Better than what I got here. So, hopefully, if you got this shoe, you like it. If, if, you, if you did not get this shoe and you want it, be patient. I'm sure eventually you'll be able to get this shoe. Because uh, through patience... Everything is better. So, uh, have a good one.